Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Rousselt and today we are going to be learning how to create a panel dynamically. So when you create a, a component or panel that dynamically, basically creating the panel with code. So you have to set the properties and events for the panel via code. So let's do that. Let's start by adding a variable. We'll call the variable then panel. It's of type T panel. Then we say then panel colon equals t panel dot create and then, then in a bracket it in a brackets it wants an owner. So the owner is basically responsible for destroying the form the panel. So it's going to be setting the owner as the form. So the form this form this form will be will be responsible for destroying the panel when it is created. Uh, actually, when the form is destroyed, then the form, then the form will be will be responsible for the, the destroying of the panel as well. And then we say, then panel dot uh, parent. And the parent will be equals to the form as to the form as well, because we want the panel to appear on this form. Okay. You can pause the video and read the differences between owner, owner and parent. Uh, Vinod from the Delphi um, programming group on WhatsApp sent me this. You can also join the group by checking, checking the link out in the description. So pause the video and read this if you want to. Okay. So let's continue. Then panel door. You can, you can, you can go and set, and set all of the properties for it. I'm just going to be setting some of the properties such as the height then panel dot aligning it to AL top and now if you compile it should work already as you can see here is all the components but we don't we don't want this to appear like push the button away so what we want is let's quickly go and add a scroll box here uh, scroll box okay and then we set the scroll box to align to client and then we set the parent to the scroll box so scroll box 1 let's compile and now you see all of the panels is being created inside of, inside of the scroll box let's go do, do something interesting let's give the panel a random color ok so go then oops let's say a random color uh, let, let's just call it i color of type integer and when I first click on the button we will, we will just simply let's first randomize and then we just basically set the i color equals to random of that okay and then we set the color of the button of the panel to dot color equals to this random eye color code we generated here okay so let's compile and see how this looks oops yes that's because we also have to um, first say then panel dot uh, what's it called again kind of forgot oh it's dot we have to set the parent background to false Now you will see it just it just generates um, panels with random colors here. Okay, and let's do something interesting as well. Uh, let's make this height 50. Now let's go and give it an uh, events. Let's go give it an on click event. Okay. So let's go to public. Create a procedure. And we'll say uh, then panel click, create the sender, the object, okay. Go here, go here to the implementation and we implement the, this um, procedure like this. And then we just basically, basically going to show the color. So show message. We'll say sender as the panel dot 
color to oops then we can convert this using the I think it is color to str nope it's not that uh, what's it called then hmm to string oh okay it's color color use the color to string um, function here now we just have to um, connect this procedure to the panel so we say then panel dot the on click event should be equals to the then panel click procedure okay so now we create some panels and then let's choose this one and here the color code is displayed or this one or this one or this one and that's basically how it is you can even go and change the cursor to make it look more nice dot cursor uh, I'm not sure cursor is displayed again oh okay you can make it CR and point for instance and now we will see like a nice hand point here as you can see and it displays a color for us when we click on it color code so this was a basic basic tutorial on how to create a panel dynamically so if this video helped you in any way then please make sure to leave a, leave a thumbs up subscribe share and comment below if you have any, any suggestions or um, maybe a request for a future video and I will try to make it or if you just want to tell me something leave it down in the comments and thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video bye